What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some possible future WWE Superstar releases. Let's get right into this. So we see from time to time WWE releasing their superstars, and the main reason they make any releases from their contracts is due to that superstar not doing so well in the ring and they have no direction for that superstar. By releasing that superstar, they make room for having call-ups or having new talent come to the WWE. So I have a small list of possible WWE releases in the future that I can honestly see happen. Now, not everybody on this list, I believe, should be released. I believe they, some of them should get an actual push because they are great in the ring. I just see WWE never pushing them and never giving them a chance ever again. Up first on this list is Heath Slater. He was originally part of the Nexus group where he was a three-time WWE Tag Team Champion. He was part of the three-man band. He was part of the Social Outcast along with other groups, but none of them really took off until he started to team up with Rhino, which I absolutely was a fan of, and they ended up winning the SmackDown Tag Team Championships for the first time. After Rhino left the company, Slater went back into single competition, which he started to really become a jobber in my opinion. He ended up winning the 24-7 championship, but hasn't done much since. Next up is EC3. He returned to NXT in 2018, and in 2019, he made his debut on the main roster. While he was in NXT, he never won a championship. He had great matches and great rivalries. He just didn't have any championship success. Whenever he made his in-ring debut on the main roster, he just didn't have that much potential in my opinion. They weren't really pushing him, and they seen him not do too much in the ring. They had kind of corny cutscenes and skits for him, but nothing more than that. He ended up winning the 24-7 championship four times, but is currently out on injury due to a concussion, so we don't know when he's going to return, but unless WWE is going to push him whenever he returns, I could see him getting released from the company or asking for his release due to the WWE not pushing him anymore. Next up is going to be No Way Jose, which in my opinion is currently a jobber with the company. He debuted in NXT in 2015 and made it to the main roster in 2018. I believe the only reason he made it to the main roster and stayed with the company as long as he did is due to him having a cool gimmick that people absolutely love, which is the high fiesta dancing gimmick. I think it is pretty cool. It is an interesting gimmick, except he hasn't had no success with the company. He's never had a title, hasn't had that great of matches in my opinion, and I just don't see him going anywhere with the company. And from time and time again, we see this kind of gimmick getting released from the company and this kind of gimmick always seems to disappear down the line. Next is going to be Titus O'Neil, which I think WWE should push him because he is a bigger guy and I feel like he could have the success if he was pushed in the right direction. He was a WWE Tag Team Champion a while back, but hasn't done too much since. He ended up winning the WWE 24-7 Championship, but other than that, has not had the success in the WWE that I believe he should have. I'm a huge fan of his, I think he's great in the ring, and he could have great matches and great rivalries, but WWE just doesn't seem to be pushing him. Next up is going to be Epico and Primo. They started wrestling from 2011 to 2013, then they started wrestling under the name of the Los Matadors from 2013 to 2015, then the Shining Stars from 2016 to 2017 whenever they made their return to the company, and then the Colognes from 2017 to the present. The only time they won the Tag Team Championship in the company was in 2012. Other than that, they haven't really been a dominant force since, and they've been really going downhill. I feel like because WWE is not having them get pushed or having them even on TV anymore, that I feel like they're going to be leaving the company very soon. If not, I think they already asked for their release. Next up is going to be Apollo Crews. He made his debut in NXT from 2014 to 2016. After that, in 2016, he made his way to the main roster. While he was in NXT, he did have great matches and had great potential. He just never won a championship. And in 2016, when he came up to the main roster, he's had great matches. He's been aligned with the right people, in my opinion. He just hasn't had the success. He's never won a championship. And I just don't see WWE pushing him much further than this. And the last name that I have on this list 
is Shorty G, aka Chad Gable. He was in NXT from 2015 to 2016 and then made his way to the main roster. He is a one-time NXT Tag Team Champion and a one-time SmackDown Tag Team Champion both times with Jason Jordan and he was a Raw Tag Team Champion with Robert Roode. When he was with Jason Jordan, I could see the team having success in the WWE, but after they split and now that Jason Jordan's in-ring career is in debate right now, I just don't see them ever being a tag team once again. Since then, Chad Gable was put in different tag teams with Sheldon Benjamin and then eventually Robert Roode, but right now is in solo competition in the ring. He is currently signed with SmackDown where he is having odd matches against big guys. I just don't see him getting pushed too much because he is a cruiserweight. The name Shorty G to me just does not make sense. They should have left it as Chad Gable. That was way more appealing to most people. And I just don't see him having success in the WWE unless he was getting pushed into the Cruiserweight division. I feel if he was part of 205 Live, he would definitely start to take off. So this is my list of future WWE releases. Comment down below any that you feel like I have missed. Now, once again, this doesn't mean that anybody on this list were people that I feel do not have the in-ring skills. I'm a huge fan of a lot of these guys in the ring. I just see that WWE is not pushing them, and I could see WWE releasing them very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Peace.